Infectious diseases come from five main causes, bacterial, viral, fungal, but there are some lesser known ones like helminths and protozoans. And we'll talk about protozoans in this video. Protozoans are kind of cool. They were discovered in 1818. And they bounced around from classification to classification until they landed on their own. And they have really cool attributes. They can reproduce asexually. They can lie in dormant cysts, which allow them to survive harsh conditions. Some are parasitic and they're found everywhere. You get some moss, you get some soil, you get some water, you look under the microscope, probably find some protozoans. Many are harmless, but if they're harmless, probably wouldn't be talking about them in this video. And many are harmful. For example, malaria, which we created many videos in the past, we'll probably create many videos in the future about. Malaria is caused by plasmodium, the protozoan plasmodium, transferred by the Anopheles mosquito. Another disease caused by a protozoan is African trypanosomiasis, and that's quite a mouthful, so we just call it sleeping sickness. And that's caused by the protozoan trypanosoma brucei, and that's spread by the tsetse fly. It infects mainly areas of sub-Saharan Africa. Every year it affects about 10,000 people. The mortality rate is kind of high, 20 to 40 percent. We're reducing that now with global efforts, bug repellent, long sleeve shirts, and early detection. When someone gets infected with the sleeping sickness, they develop flu-like symptoms. They develop fever, night sweats, joint pain, but we don't call it African flu-like sickness. No, we call it African sleeping sickness because as the disease progresses, it invades the blood-brain barrier, it invades your brain basically, causes confusion, disorganized sleep. You have periods of alertness and wakefulness. You have periods of sleep. You have episodes of psychosis. And, this, and if you leave it to progress, leave it untreated, is more or less fatal. So early detection is key, and we can detect it early by getting the blood of people that might be infected and smearing it on a slide. We call it a blood smear, fitting name. And we can see the actual parasite in the blood smear. And that way we can diagnose it. So protozoans play a big role in causing diseases. And if this fact wasn't known for a long time until Charles Levahan. Enter Charles Levahan. Charles Levahan was a French doctor born in 1845. Son of a doctor, he followed in his dad's footsteps. And after graduation, his main research focus was on malaria. In a previous video, we talked about the life cycle of, of malaria, which is very important. We talked about how they've discovered it was transferred by the Anopheles mosquito. Very important. But, but we haven't really talked about the exact cause, the parasite of malaria. And so Charles Levahan would study malaria. He would gather the blood and the organs of people that were infected of malaria or died of malaria. And he would look at them. And he noticed something. The common denominator was in the blood was this dark pigmented molecule. And he thought it must be a blood parasite. So he waited for someone to be newly infected with malaria to come into the hospital. Sure enough, someone did. And he quickly ran and gathered the blood and looked at it under the microscope. And under the microscope, he can actually see the parasite moving. And that was his eureka moment. And he would repeat these experiments with African trypanosomiasis and find out the protozoan responsible for that. And for his work on discovering protozoan and their contribution to disorders and diseases, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1907. So that's the story of Charles Lavahong. That is protozoans. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the series, hit subscribe and click here for more of the series. Thanks.